Hello, my Arab and microwave uh, professionals, uh, my friends, how are you doing? Uh, this is Dr. Mohammed Nizami again with another lecture, another presentation on the uh, within the series of uh, 5G sub six gigahertz and millimeter wave cell RF transceiver design. Today, uh, this is part four. So in case if you are watching this without watching the previous uh, presentations, please go to my uh, channels, uh, channel and um, be sure to watch the other videos. Also, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel, please. I would appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, like I said, always, uh, my name is Mohammed Nizami. Uh, uh, I'm a, an independent RF and microwave circuit design uh, designer, uh, consultant. If you have any uh, projects that you want to outsource the design, I could do DC to 35 gigahertz. Um, designs, um, starting from developing the concept, developing schema the uh, specifications and requirements, uh, developing the system diagrams and system modeling, uh, proof of concept, using ADS, Pathwave ADS, uh, Pathwave System Pro, uh, ANSYS HFSS, uh, and then producing schematics and PCB layout using Cadence tools or Altium. My rate is very um, reasonable compared to the rates uh, in the U in North America and Europe. Um, I'm running right now, uh, you might say a special at this rate. Okay, so let's get back to 5G cell uh, transceivers. In the previous videos, we did show uh, that for we, 5G transceivers for cells, cell transmitters or cell base stations uh, or, or CPEs and even user equipment are, are divided into two categories depending on the band of operation. We have the sub six gigahertz bandwidth uh, band, sorry, which starts out from um, two gigahertz all the way to seven gigahertz. Uh, with partially, I'm listing here some of the very common uh, bands, starting from N77, 78, 79. And then we have the millimeter uh, bands, which starts out from uh, 257 uh, uh, to 58, 59, 60, 61. These are the, uh, some of the popular bands. Uh, so now, from a, a hardware point of view, developing um, hardware for the transceiver, uh, as you have seen in the, or you might you might want to check back and and view the details in the previous uh, three videos, we did show that when we we if we we we're, we're going to develop uh, system uh, transceivers here for the sub six gigahertz using directly. Uh, from the DAX to antennas, and from antennas to the A to D, okay? Meaning bits to antennas and antennas to bits. Where the millimeter wave, we're gonna start uh, with what was developed as a sub six gigahertz transceiver, and then all we have to do is just uh, translate that with, uh, with an up conversion and down conversion stages from, uh, the uh, sub six gigahertz band, 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 uh, band as an IF, intermediate frequency, to the millimeter wave somewhere between 24 to 40 or even 50 gigahertz, okay? So last time we developed one concept with the uh, four transmit, four receive, four T, four R, dual polarized, um, discrete chip based six gigahertz, sub six gigahertz uh, 5G transceiver, which was done in here, where we used an off-the-shelf um, digital signal processing uh, and DAX and A to Ds, quad of those, four of those. And then we, we developed uh, basically from the DAC to the antenna and from the antenna to the A to D, uh, a section of, a, of, of a, an antenna front end module, you might want to say, where we uh, also use fed back the RF 
uh, output from the PA through a switch so that we can do uh, linearization, we could do calibrations for the transmit path and so on, okay? We can even, in some systems, they might want to be interested in running some receiver calibrations where they actually use the DAC to be multiplexed into the um, ADD, into this switch here, so that we can uh, calibrate the receive path. And in fact, that's one thing uh, that might happen in the uh, demo that I'm going to do in the next presentations, okay? So we've got here, we've got four transmitters, four receivers, and uh, four antenna elements. Uh, two are 40, plus 45 degrees, and two are minus 45 degrees. Now, that's for sub six gigahertz band. Now for the millimeter wave, what we did, we took the same exact design, except we multiplexed each one of those uh, four Ts and four Rs, into a dual polarized panel, uh, a, a panel of antenna array, okay? Where we use beam forming chips connected to all of these antennas. So this is a, a panel that has um, these, that has four, uh, four, uh, four, uh, four by four beam former chips that have dual uh, polarization, okay? And then we have in here 64 elements, in this case, as an example. Could be more. Uh, we have 64 elements uh, of, of antennas that are fed both uh, plus 45 and minus 45, meaning it's really elliptical uh, polarized signal. Or it could be circular polarized signal uh, for both the vertical and horizontal. Okay, and in this case, we have four of these panels. Okay, so these are very powerful. Uh, station where you can get easily 40 dBm EIRP from every one of these. So you can you can actually use these to do uh, sort of like a, a 45 degree sectorized uh, uh, base uh, antenna, which has uh, multiple beams that you can steer. Okay, so there, we have four beams basically, or it could be uh, stacked up on top of each other to have four independent beams so we can point anywhere on, on pedestrians and focus the energy on pedestrians or uh, to elevate the beam to, fo uh, to focus the energy on users that are up in the mountains or up in the hills uh, the, the, with residents in there or high rise uh, building, okay? Now, so before we get further, so these components in here are all off the shelf components that we that I have picked and located, and that's what I'm going to do next session, is we're going to put these into the pathway system view and, and trace the signals and, and look at the effect from basically from the uh, samples per symbols, starting out on the left-hand side, all the way until we get to uh, somewhere between 24 gigahertz to uh, 40 gigahertz on these systems, okay? So right now, let's look at how you would actually do the RF distribution to the beamformer chips that are in here. And that's what we're gonna do. So in that case, we know that we need to have some kind of power divider, okay? So we could use either a two-way divider or a four-way divider made of two-way dividers. And we could utilize either, now for the sub six gigahertz, we can utilize microstrip with uh, 100 ohm resistors. These resistors are being implemented as, as an 0204, uh, 0203 or 08 packages, uh, surface mount packages. Uh, or we could utilize ceramic or uh, thin film um, uh, splitters. These are Wilkinson splitters that are available from the manufacturers like mini circuit and uh, anarin or uh, whatever it, uh, it is nowadays, MTT. Uh, and all we need to add in here is the just the 100 ohm resistor external, which is this resistor in here, okay? Now, if you go this way with printed uh, for millimeter uh, wa uh, waves, you need to, you can't use surface mount resistors. That's too much uh, parasitic. So we implement this using strip line techniques with these resistors being embedded as a uh, using an omega ply or Kaiser um, sheets. Um, and this uh, technique is well known. 
Um, so, or we could go and use a thin film uh, splitters that are available. We have two class of splitters for millimeter waves. We have the gas splitters, there is this plastic package in here, or we have thin film exposed um, Wilkerson with uh, thin film resist, uh, isolating resistors like it is in here, okay? So let's go next and see how we do this. So as an example, so what I have here is I have a, uh, <clears throat> this is a 64 element panel, and this is a 256 panel. And if you look at this, now basically it uses, um, like we detailed in the previous videos, it uses a beam former chip that has two T's and two R's, meaning two transmitters, two receivers, okay? And uh, so, um, uh, and so, um, and you can see that now the distribution from the up converter, okay, so we have an up converter and we distribute the signal using two way splitters that splits in here. And you can see that we need, we would need for 64 elements, we are using a true transmit to receive uh, beam former chip, we would need 15 two way dividers. Okay, so if you count them, here's one, and here's one, here's one, here's one, here's one, and one here, one here, one here, and also, so these are 15 if you count them. Okay, so we have, um, and then for 256 elements, as you can see in here, we have a, a two-way splitter between every two elements, in addition to the ones that split the main junctions. So we end up in here with a uh, 63 two-way dividers, and that's a lot of dividers, of course, two-way dividers. So the way to solve this issue here with too many dividers is we use four-way uh, dividers instead of two-way dividers, packaged ones. And we have those, so that's what I'm gonna demo that today. In fact, I've got my system boo uh, ready launched, and I have two designs. Uh, uh, here's the 64 one, okay, of course, um, now realize that uh, the, this is, uh, let's see, we said that for si we have 63 uh, uh, dividers if it's two ways. If it is four ways, of course, we have much less. In fact, you can count them in here. So we have, uh, let's see, these are four, so these are 60, 32, 32, uh, no, this is, uh, uh, sorry, this is uh, 16, no, this is eight and eight, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 for the 256 panel. Where for the other panel, we would only need uh, five of those. And you can see that clearly in here. For this one here, we would need just, here's a four way here, a four way here, a four-way here, a four-way here, so that's four, and then the, the main one that divides this five. So, and that's what you see in here. We've got five devices that are, are used for the 64 element dividers. And, and these devices, of course, uh, uh, oh. so uh, as an example on these, let's just show quickly, um, how you would uh, figure out the uh, out of power level to make sure that do we need amplifiers? Uh, I mean, are we able to giving the signal from the output uh, of the up converter, um, how much um, signal do we need to reach out here so we can reach to the um, amplifier uh, with sufficient, I mean, to the uh, antenna uh, feed point with sufficient power. So in this case in here, I said, let's use this as a, a 50 ERP DBM. Uh, and that's an example we I, I developed in the previous uh, sessions. And in that case, that means actually the, the each single, uh, each single uh, element has to be driven with plus nine DBM, okay? So if you put plus five, uh, plus nine DBM here and consider as an example, that the uh, gain of the uh, TX path in here for the beam forward trip is 20 dB. That means you could work out backward that you would need the 
the uh, as you can see here, if you have nine and you got 20, so you got minus 11 dBm at this point. And of course, we have two way here, two way here, two way here, and two way here, which ends up being that you would need plus one dBm from the up converter here. You could do the same sort of analysis in here. This is a 256 um, elements. And um, so you could see that the um, the power at the up converter in here, it is five dBm only. Of course, my calculations in here were done based on the fact that I only that on ideal uh, uh, three dB spl splitters or dividers, which is that's not the case. So we would need for every one of these uh, uh, paths, we would need to estimate the actual ohmic loss and add that on top of it. So you, you're more likely to add few dBm's to account for that, okay? Now, let's take another one example in here. This is another example that I uh, wanna show, which has four beams with uh, 256 again. But in, in this case, let's look at a more realistic situation where of course, unlike in here, as you can see from the up converter, we're just showing the concept. We really haven't given any thoughts to the uh, filters, uh, if, do we have? Do we need uh, bidirectional amplifiers, um, and and so forth. So, uh, from a hardware point of view, in here, uh, when you look at this now, you, here's a list of all the components that you would need. So we, we need IF filters. Uh, we need um, RF filters. We need up converters. We need down converters. We need balance. We need TR switches if we decide to use external bidirectional amplifiers, like in this case in here. And these amplifiers is to extend the power level from the, uh, the to, to the uh, out of distribution point uh, so that we can get uh, sufficient power to deliver to. And I, again, this example here, I, I developed uh, saying that I want the antenna to be driven by seven dBm from the transmit beam former. Now realize I haven't done any calculations that has to do with the receive path in this case. Uh, we will look at that it, during the um, path wave uh, system book presentations. Uh, so you can go, go see this and realize that we would need here one dBm. And uh, so, um, and in that case, uh, this would be minus 14 dBm. And again, I'm not accounting the uh, losses due to the filters, switches, and the balance and so forth. We've got balance in here on the um, on the digital uh, to analog and analog to digital. These are these ones here, as you can see, the balance in here. Okay. So uh, this example in here was developed using the TI front end, uh, antenna front end uh, ch chip that is here, similar to the one I've used previously from uh, ADD. Okay, so this is for 60 dBm. This example here, we will develop and you will see more of this on the uh, on the system book. So, okay, so let's go ahead and start looking at the um, splitters. So we need to have uh, a splitter that was split, um, of course, as, a, oh, uh, as we see here, uh, we need to split, if we're splitting four ways, if we do, let's say that we want to decide to split four ways on this. So we're going to need um, 16 four-way splitters, okay? Instead of 63 two-way splitters, okay? And that's what you see in here, okay? As you can see here, you can have the, there is a 16 of them. Um, that are. This is for the 64. And this is with, uh, also for the other one, which is the um, for this case here for the sixty-four elements, where we would need here's four, okay, four-way splitter. Here's four. Here's four. Here's four. That's four of them, and here's one. That's five. So we would need five. That's this guy here, okay. And of course, what we're going to do is we're going to use for the uh, millimeter. Uh, uh, RF feed uh, distribution network. We're gonna use try to use the gas mimic um, divider power dividers, four-way dividers from mini circuits, or the um, 
the uh, two-way and four-way uh, from, uh, uh, these are from Dielectric Lab, NOS uh, devices. Now these here are for the sub six gigahertz, uh, and these are Wilkinson dividers that needs external 100 ohm resistor in there. These ones have the resistor, you can see it here, the thin film resistor is, is embedded on there, okay? So again, so we have these devices. We have, this is ceramic from uh, mini circuits. All you need is just a 0603 package, uh, 100 ohm resistor externally, or you could use this, the Zinger uh, one, which is, which uses uh, also uh, needs a small uh, resistor, package resistor, I said it is. So I did run the simulations and we'll look at that in a minute. So you can see this is a, uh, an eight-way um, sub six gigahertz, as you can see, we're going between um, 2.8 to 5.6 gigahertz, okay? And it's pretty good. This is using this device here. Uh, now we go this way, that's two, four, this is the 16-way uh, sub six gigahertz uh, uh, distribution network. And you can see that right here. So 12 dB, the, um, I forgot to plot the uh, angles. Of course, the uh, the amplitudes, the, there is a little mismatch, okay? There is no way around this. And of course, this mismatch, you know, we could use uh, calibrations uh, to uh, align uh, or, or just consider part of the mispointing errors that is not that, uh, relevant like it is in SATCOMs because this is in the ground. So if you miss by a few degrees, it's not a big deal probably. Although this is in the millimeter, that might not be a case. Uh, but in any case in here, uh, you do you could uh, utilize calibrations to account for the, uh, for the uh, array uh, power division uh, branches uh, mismatches, both face and gain. Now, this here, I, uh, the, the, we need filters, so there's plenty of filters, ceramic filters and um, um, coaxial uh, resonator filters that are used for the uh, sub six gigahertz bandwidth. And there's a whole bunch of them that I'll be using um, in the pathway. Now for the millimeter, we're using these, uh, this divider here, which is a four way divider. This is from Dielectric Laboratory and NOS as it is nowadays. We also have an option to use this, which is a very broadband uh, gas mimic chip from uh, mini circuits, okay? So I did run both. We have available also two-way divider from the thin film of uh, Dielectric Labs if we need to. Now, just a quick run. This is uh, basically the one for uh, the 64 elements, you can see here, uh, pretty good uh, match, good return loss, out, output, out, input, output, okay? Now for the other panel, for the 256 elements, uh, we also have this here, which is uh, 32, uh, which is very good. Um, so the, um, I didn't display the, um, individual amplitude, but we can see the, the return loss is also good. This is a histogram. You can display the histogram for both the face and magnitude of these um, array feed points. Yeah, it's pretty good. Now, likewise, similar to the sub six gigahertz, uh, we also have packaged um, uh, thin film uh, filters for uh, the millimeter wave, and that's a whole bunch of them in here. So. Well, let's uh, let's get back to the uh, system, bro. So let's look at the uh, now the first one is this design in here, which is this is a, a basically uh, let's see this is the um, we have the um, the sixteen way, okay, and. Uh, so this is the amplitude, as you can see, uh, the eight ways, same way here. So that's pretty good. And we have the filters. Now the filters, just in case if you 
want to grab these the, the part numbers. They're right here. These are the part numbers for the filters. Here's the part number for the uh, for the uh, power divider from Anna, Anna Rin, from the, the Zynga. Now for the uh, millimeter wave, same thing we have here. So we have uh, this is the 16 way. And we have the 32 way, which is here, okay? And uh, so the, for the, this is for the 64 uh, elements. Okay, so you can see, let's see, let me see, just display the, uh, the amplitude in here. So you can see that we've got about two points, to almost more than two, a little bit more than two dBs of, uh, of insertion loss on top of the split loss. Okay, so that's very good. And if we go to 16 way, uh, we have this, of course. Uh, so, and the histogram, if you want to see the histogram, that's the histogram basically in here. So, so uh, now, so what do we do next? Uh, so we've got this, We so we need to go back uh, to the uh, design and um, so we need to go back to something like this slide here. So now we have the uh, power distribution. So what we're gonna end up with is we pick the, uh, all these components that are listed here, we pick them and we need to design an ERP 60 dBm panel. And that's what we're gonna do next is basically demonstrate that, okay? Um, so, uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to look at the uh, the budget link calculations for these things and the uh, spurious analysis and harmonics and the linearity. The whole chains we we look at them. Uh, so that's basically we're going to illustrate this system. Except, well, this is not a sixty. This is this is a, a sixty-four elements. We need two fifty-six elements. So. We're just going to swap this with another panel. Okay, and then we're going to demonstrate all of this using pathway. Uh, for the sub six gigahertz as well, we're going to do this system here for 3.5 gigahertz. So we're going to uh, illustrate all this system. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I, uh, I appreciate you uh, watching my videos. Uh, thank you very much. Um, if you uh, need to contact me, please, uh, here's my phone number uh, with these apps. You can reach to me or my email. And again, like I said, uh, if you have any, um, uh, uh, if you need to outsource any RF uh, board design for wireless products, be it SATCOM or cellular or uh, other systems, uh, please uh, get back to me. I, I have a very reasonable rate running right now. Um, um, if uh, also please may, uh, realize that I also do have uh, the training um, that I usually run for both system as uh, ANSYS um, RF and microwave device modeling and design and also two sessions for two other trainings for uh, the pathway BDS and pathway system book Okay, well, uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you uh, uh, reaching out and uh, watching my videos. I would appreciate if you could support me. Uh, there are ways to support me in the click more for more information and you can find out. Thank you very much and have a great day. Enjoy uh, doing RF and microwave designs. Thank you.